forget. So, on season one. Yeah. Your character took a lot of twists and turns. Yes, she did. I mean, you found out who your father was. Yeah. Do you think in season two? that you and your father will have a closer relationship. I know you guys haven't started shooting it yet, but what do you think? Of it? Um, something that happened in season one, and what's kind of fun about TV, since they give you the scripts so late in the game, um, what was funny is that they, they didn't tell me that Hero was my dad when I came in. I think they told him. And I was just so excited to meet him when I got there anyway because I'm a huge fan of his, you know, Last Samurai. And I just, so it was funny because I walked up and said, oh, I'm so excited to meet you. And he was so excited to meet me. And I thought, why? He's just a nice man. Um, but um, <laughs> but I, I figured it out in one of the stage directions when I was reading the second episode. No, the third episode. And I remember walking up to Cameron, our creator, and I just said, is he my dad? And he's like, well, what? And he can't lie. He just said, why do you, what do you, and, uh, and I said, okay, he's my dad. So, um, so I kind of figured it out a little early. But what was interesting is that you'll be shooting a scene and you can prep all you want for something, but when you get in the room with somebody, that's when you start to really figure out what the relationship is. And uh, I think that because they did a really smart thing in my hallucination stuff when I'm dying, when they had him stab himself to come downstairs and be with me so that I gave me something to do and it also made me love my character even more because it, it kept her alive I think having somebody else to take care of because that's what she does and she didn't have to keep dealing with her own stuff and they went through so much together in that situation that was her closest thing to death um, and he was one that was there for her so whether she liked it or not she bonded with him so then when all of that became a reality for her that this is my father, sure she's mad, but he's still my dad. And I think that's true with anybody, any story about, you know, with your mother or with your father. I mean, I still go home to visit and it's like you're you know, you're a kid again and you're you're in your under your parents' roof and there's there's something that you can never let go of whatever that issue is. So clearly she's got some strong issues with him. But she can't deny that they had some kind of connection. So I think that in season two we're gonna get a little bit further into what she needs to settle with him or what she's going to do with him. And um, But I think that after what happened with Alaria and, and after what they did to Daniel and, she, and he revealed to her why he did everything he did, um, she can't help but have feelings for him. You know. So are the eyes, are those contacts or is it something they add out? No. Um, the CGI. They're good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. And it's nice for me because I don't have to put contacts in. <laughs> Keeps it easy. Um, but yeah, they look incredible. They look really good. The only time I had to wear contacts was in episode six when I was at death's door, basically, and I had to put those weird, freaky ones in. They can't see around. It's bizarre. Other than uh, your relationship with your father, what uh, character relationship are you really looking forward to or hoping that they'll develop more in season two? Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm curious to see, well, of course, we're all curious to see what her whole thing is with with Alan. It's, it's something that's been interesting and, and some of these, uh, I, I, when I've seen Billy on some of these other press tours that he and I have done together, the more I thought about it, the more I realized I still don't really know what happened between them. It, it's, there's still a lot of question, and I think that's good. Mm -hmm. I think that if you spell it out too much for audiences, it's just not interesting. And also, she exists on the show not because of her ex-husband, which is smart. Um, otherwise she'd be really a boring character um, but there's still something about their history that doesn't sit right with me I feel like there's more to be uncovered and again I think we discover those things in the scenes like when we were working on episode 10 all of the old marital stuff that we were playing with it was just so much fun like just kind of making jabs at each other and but it was at the same time it was comfortable and, and playing into that stuff so I think that it would be, I would love to know more about what happened, and I don't know how they'll go with that, because they clearly have some connection to each other that's stronger than what she did was bad, you know? Legends of the Fall, sleeping with the brother? Man, you just don't do that. <laughs> wow. I just thought, when I read that script, I thought, everyone's gonna hate me. You cannot redeem yourself after that. I mean, there's no going back. <laughs> What's that? Okay, that's good. Jeez, I was like, thanks, guys. Take one for the team. Um, yeah. I was gonna ask, how difficult is it uh, memorizing the jargon? 
it depends on if it's real or made up. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I spent some quality time on YouTube for the real stuff, trying to figure out what, what, are, they, what are they talking about. Um, for the most part, I would have to spend a little more time on that because it's not words I'm used to throwing out there like I know them, you know, like the back of my hands. But uh, there was one episode where it was like a paragraph of weird stuff. And I thought, Why you give this to the 20 year old, you know? Like, <laughs> and so <laughs> I was sitting there and I had to just, I really felt like, okay, I'm, I, I had to almost give myself physical punchlines at the end of it to uh, give myself memorization for that one. That was a tricky one. <laughs> but um, yeah, for the most part, it's okay as long as you know what you're saying. If you have no idea what you're saying, you can't just memorize sounds. <laughs> if you've never learned this word before, it's like, I'm just going to memorize some, some sounds here and make a little song. It's, it just doesn't work. So you have, to, you have to research that stuff. So you spend a little bit more time. As long as I understand what I'm saying, then it's, it's, it's not so bad. So, I mean, you're not really, you don't really know that much about your character as you're going on. You don't really know how yeah. the situation is going to play out, even you know, as the scripts you know, are getting handed to you. So are you ever concerned that you're not going to make it through the end of the, se the season? I think everyone should be concerned <laughs> that it's sci-fi, you yeah. know? Then I get it sci-fi. It'd be nice if they brought my buddy Jerry Ryan back and put her head back on. Um, <laughs> don't lose your head, Jerry. Um, I would love it if she came back. Um, but I, I don't think anybody's safe on this show. And I, I mean, I hope they don't go all Game of Thrones on us or anything. But you know, I was like, yes, like, keep some people around. But it, you know, first of all, it's an outbreak, and then you've got the sci-fi on top. It's just I don't think anybody's safe. Um, I feel like though there are certain. I think that at this point, after what they did with me in season one, there's something about me and my background and who my family is and what they really want from me. They, I, I think that I'm okay for a while in this this season. <laughs> I hope. Is the are you looking forward to the, play, the dynamic of being like the powerful woman, the all powerful woman, and, and Alan's kind of the weak guy now? Mm. Um, well, I don't know. One of my favorite scenes, honestly, that Billy Campbell did in that whole season was the first one of episode 13 when he's beating that guy up. He just, wow, powerhouse. Like, it was it was amazing. Um, so I think that Billy's character is just going to get very interesting and dark in season two. And maybe not dark necessarily, but his he's not playing around anymore. So that's really cool. I'm excited to see that. But, um, of course, I think... Um, they, I was lucky. My character had so much happen to her, and she went through such a journey she, uh, between being powerful, finding her power, being very vulnerable, um, being very flawed and screwed up, and sometimes just very warm and caring. Like she just, I, I got to play every end of the spectrum with that character, and then just making her basically like a hardcore businesswoman is just, that would be fascinating. So I'm not sure where they're going to take it, but even just having that moment at the end was fun because it just just brought a whole new, that was just a powerful scene. I said one word, and it was, the audience was just, people freaked out over that scene. So um, it's always fun to get put through the ringer, I think. But the more you can stretch, especially if you're on a series, the better. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love your hair.